In this example of using Pythagoras in three dimensions, we have a square-based pyramid. And we're asked to find the length of ED. We're told that the square on the base has sides of four centimeters, and the height of the pyramid is six centimeters. So what we need to have is a right angle triangle that will allow us to find this length here, ED. And what I'm looking at is the triangle E, D, F, or D, E, F, this one here. So let's just show that. So we've got triangle D, E, F, and let's take that and draw it separately. So there's triangle D, E, F. Now we know that we've got the height as six centimeters, and we're trying to find this length here, D, E. Now if we have a right angle triangle, we need to have two other sides before we can find this length, D, E. So we need to find length D, F. So going back to our square base pyramid here, we need to find this length here. And we notice that it's actually half of the length of BD. So if we look at the next triangle, which is triangle ABD, and we draw that one separately, well, we know that AD is four centimeters. And this length here, AB, is also four centimeters because it's a square base pyramid. So what we're looking for is BD. So using Pythagoras, we've got that BD squared is equal to four squared plus four squared, which is obviously 16 plus 16, which is 32. And therefore BD is the square root of 32. Now we know that FD is actually half the length of BD. So FD is the square root of 32 divided by 2. So now I can use Pythagoras to find the length DE. So DE squared will be equal to this length squared, so that's 6 squared, plus DF squared, so we've got the square root of 32 divided by 2, and that's all squared. 6 squared, what's well, 36? Square root of 32 squared is 32, and 2 squared is 4. So we've got 36, and 32 divided by 4 is 8, so we've got 44. So DE is the square root of 44. And if we just pop over in the calculator, we can see that 44 square root is 6.63 centimeters to two decimal places. So 6.63, that's centimeters, and that's to 2 dp.